This is Module 1, Grade 6, Lesson 3 for Eureka. In the first part, Classwork, Exercise 1, they're asking you to write a one-sentence story problem about a ratio. That problem would be a, a sentence that included a for every or the ratio of something that something is. Remember that you're comparing two, two different things. And then they want you to write that ratio in two different forms. That means to write the ratio that you created in the first part with a, a colon and also with the word two. That's what they're looking for. In exercise two, Shani and Mel are using ribbon to decorate a project in their art class. The ratio of the length of Shani's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon is seven to three. So the first thing we want to do, well, they also then ask us to draw a tape diagram to represent the ratio of seven to three. So the first thing we're going to do is, is using looking at the ratio language, uh, where it says the ratio, we're going to underline the two things that are being compared. In this case, it's Shawnee's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon. So the ratio 7 to 3 refers to Shawnee to Mel. So now we're going to draw a tape diagram, which are boxes, to represent this. And here I've drawn seven boxes for Shawnee and three boxes for Mel. That is how we represent ratios using a tape diagram. Now in exercise three, Mason and Lonnie ran laps to train for the long distance running team. The ratio of the number of laps Mason ran to the number of laps Lanny ran was two to three. If Mason ran four miles, how far did Lanny run? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. Well, the first thing we're going to do is talk about our ratio language, and we want to underline where what is being compared. So we're talking about the ratio of the number of laps Mason ran to the number of laps Laney ran. So Mason is being compared Sorry about that. to Laney. So the ratio 2 to 3 refers to Mason to Laney. So, it's Mason to Laney, which is two to three. And now they would like us to be able to answer how far did Laney run. And to do that, they want us to draw a tape diagram. So before I even worry about the other information they gave us, I'm going to draw a tape diagram. One representing Mason and one, Mason and one representing Laney. Okay, so I've driven, drawn a tape diagram. Mason has two boxes and Laney has three boxes, and that represents the ratio that's there. Now I can go and look at the other information they gave us. Mason ran four miles. So this is Mason, and he ran four miles. So to show that, I put it at the end of my tape diagram, four miles. Now, in order to figure out what number goes inside those boxes, I look at that 4, and I say 4 divided by the ratio. So the total divided by the ratio. And the ratio, the part of the ratio in this case is the 2. That's where I got 4 to 2. Now in our minds, we can all do 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I put a 2 in each box. Now the rule is, if there's a 2 in one box, the, all the boxes are the same. So if these, if Masons are two, then Laney's also have to be two. And now I can see that Laney ran two, four, six. And they're talking about miles, so I want to include the miles. Always at the end, we have to go back to our question and, and check it out. How far did Laney run? Laney ran six miles. Sorry for the writing. I'm working with a, a pen. Lanny ran six miles. Wow, my miles cannot look any worse. That's better. All right, so that was pretty easy. Now, to do B, if Lanny ran 930 meters, how far did Mason run? They'd like us to draw a tape diagram to determine how we find the answer again. So 
If you notice, B and A are lowercase letters. That means that they are all part of exercise three. So when we talk about Lainey running 930 meters, we're talking about it being the same ratio because this right here is the, the scenario that B is for. So we have to write Mason and Laney's boxes again right below B here. So what I've drawn here are uh, the boxes uh, for Mason and Laney based on the ratio from the scenario that we're, we're working with, 2 to 3. Now in this problem, in B, Laney ran 930 meters. So if Laney ran 930 meters, then this one would be 930, and I'm going to put an N for meters, M for meters. Now, how do we find out how many 930, what we do with 930 to put it into the boxes? Well, I divide the total by the ratio. The total is 930 divided by, in this part of the ratio, it's 3. So I have to do 930 divided by 3. To do that, I'm going to write, erase this because I need space. On your paper, you can write it right beside it. Go ahead and do the division problem. So to do this, we did 930 divided by 3. I came up with 310. Please note this 0 at the end here. Don't forget about it. You have to put the 0 down. And then that 0 mattered. And so don't get 31, but 310. So that being the case, uh, I take this 310, and I actually need to put it inside each one of these boxes. So 310. 310, 310. If I put all 310s together, either multiplying 310 by 3 or adding them up, I'll get the 930. Now, the rule is, if, it, if 310 is in all these boxes, then clearly 310 has to go in this box as well. So to find out how far Mason ran, we simply have to do 310 times 2 or 310 plus 310. I'm going to do it times 2, get 0, 2, 6. So therefore, Mason ran 620 meters. And we have to write that as a sentence. Mason ran 620 meters. Now the last part asks us to write down the ratios that are equivalent to 2 to 3. Well, in our first part, 2 to 3, the equivalent ratio was 4 to 6 because we multiplied the 2 times 2 and the 3 times 2 to get 6. In our second one, the ratio 2 to 3 was equal to 620 to 930. And note, those are the ones that were at the end of the tape diagram. Those were the totals of the tape diagram. Go ahead and try and do the rest on your own.